Hello, welcome back to another video. It is that time of the week again. It's the end of it, which means there's a week of sneaker stories to look back on and then a week of sneaker releases to look forward to. So without any further ado, let us get into it. To all you regulars out there, thank you so much for watching. And if you are new around here and you haven't yet done so, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and follow along for sneaker related content. So starting off with some of the sneakers that released this week, there was a Jordan Delta collab with Clot, which was like a Delta fused together with a Jordan 13 Flint. And these were crap in my opinion. Yeah, there's, there's no surprise, at least for me, as to why they're sitting. It's a sneaker that nobody asked for, nobody wants, and they should have just stayed in the drafts, in my opinion, a real waste of materials. Uh, so that was an easy pass. Next up, you had the Air Max One Crap Hemp, which is a really nice colorway. I just struggled to justify spending 165 odd pounds on a pair of Air Max Ones, so that's a pair that I passed on. Uh, we also had the J Balvin Jordan 2s. Now, this is a really nice shoe, really cool colorway. I'm not a J Balvin fan, but he seems to be very popular and very successful. And I like the Jordan 2 model. I just thought for the price point, it was too much to ask. So that was an easy pass for me on the J Balvins being like 270 pounds. No, thank you. The only sneaker of the week that I was interested enough in to cop were the Jordan 3 Dark Iris, which I did manage to cop. I think they may even still be sitting in some places, but I'm a threes guy. It's one of my favorite Jordan models and the color blocking's too clean. I didn't want to pass on them and then regret not getting them a couple of months down the line. So I am really looking forward to getting those in hand. They have shipped already and I'll be sure to share them with you when they arrive. So in terms of sneaker news, we saw the first released images of the Trophy Room 7s, which are supposed to come out sometime in late October, uh, date pending on that. In my opinion, these are really nice. Uh, the colorway is really cool. Uh, the materials look nice. You've got this like nice suede, uh, as well as a nice metallic red and some Olympic looking touches on it, as well as MJ signature, Trophy Room logo, and then a pretty famous quote. Yeah, there's a new sheriff in town. And it was kind of like the unofficial passing of the torch from one all-time great Magic Johnson to another all-time great Michael Jordan. And so this sneaker serves to commemorate that very seminal moment. Kanye was in the news again. Uh, unsurprisingly, he w went on to CNBC News to talk about terminating his contract with Gap, looking a little bit like Mr. T and Macho Man Randy Savage combined. I don't know about you, but I quite like the look that Ye is going for currently, the sort of like 1980s wrestler uh, mixed with a bit of Kimbo Slice action, kind of looks pretty good on Ye in my opinion. He's decided to terminate the deal with Gap due to a number of um, contractual obligations that Gap did not meet, as well as them taking his t-shirt design and selling it for the cheap. Uh, I'd recommend checking out the interview, it's quite funny and poetic to see Kanye sort of like slamming Gap for a lot of the things that they didn't honor in the contract. Whilst you're simultaneously watching the Gap stock prices plummet, it's, uh, it's quite funny. As far as upcoming sneakers this week goes, uh, there's not that many, which is like almost a bit of a relief because after having bought the Dark Iris as well as the Fire Reds the week before, like I'm kind of ready to have a week off uh, sneaker releases. So if you were interested on Wednesday, there's a pair of Air Max Ones, which feature this quite nice looking uh, denim uh, colorway and material. Uh, on Thursday, there's a women's Jordan one in like an orange colorway, which might work for you if you have all the shattered backboards, but that's only going up to like a UK 9.5. So if you're a Bigfoot, forget about it. And then on Friday, you've got Nike's answer to the whole clog slash foam war uh, that's going on at the moment with a pair of pretty cool looking slides that look like they would be absolutely ideal for the steam room or maybe for the gym showers uh, as well as for wearing casually. So that's about it on the Nike sneakers app. There could be some last minute uh, updates, but I'm not hip to those at the moment. So yeah, it's a light week, which is kind of refreshing. 
So that is it, my friends out there, for another week that was and another uh, week that will be. I hope you guys have had an awesome week and I wish you all the very best for the week that is yet to come. If you haven't already done so, please feel free to subscribe. I just want to thank everybody that has taken the time to engage with my content. All the likes I really appreciate. So too the comments and all of you new subscribers that have been actively engaging. I just want to say thank you all very much. The growth has been real and I really am feeling encouraged by it. So thank you all so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Peace.